Hi, I'm Judith Kingsbury from SavvyVegetarian.com. Yesterday I made black beans in my crock pot. Now you would think that was no big deal. Just throw them in the crock pot, add some water, turn it on low and cook them. But the thing about black beans is that they have a toxin called phytohenaglutinin, which can make you sick if you get enough of it. So for safety's sake, what you're supposed to do is soak your black bean overnight, bring them to a boil, skim off the foam and boil them for 10 minutes before you put them in the crock pot. That's what I did with my black beans in the crock pot yesterday. And they only took about three hours to cook that way. Now I've cooked black beans in the slow cooker. Today I'm going to cook black beans in my pressure cooker. Now with this method, you don't have to bring the beans to a boil, then boil them for 10 minutes. You do need to bring the beans to a boil and skim the foam. I'm going to cook one cup of black beans that have been soaked for 12 hours. Add those to my pressure cooker. Then I'm going to add a piece of kombu seaweed, also known as kelp. And what that does is it adds a little salt and it adds a lot of vitamins and minerals, but it also helps to prevent gas. The other thing I'm going to add is a little bit of salt. Now I know that you are not supposed to, to add salt to beans because supposedly it makes them tough, but that's actually not true. What it does is prevent the beans from splitting and blowing apart while you cook them. You might have to cook them a little longer, but they will still get tender. Now I'm going to add water just to cover the beans. Here are my black beans. They have come to a boil and I'm going to skim the foam. I'm going to put the lid on, lock it down, turn it to high pressure and wait for the pressure indicator to come up. There we go. Now I'm going to set the timer for six minutes. There's the timer for my black beans. Turn off the burner and let the pressure come down naturally. I'm just going to open the lid and see if my beans are all cooked. They look good. Let's try one out. Yeah, perfect. So that was cooked in the pressure cooker after 12 hours of soaking with a piece of kombu seaweed and about a quarter teaspoon of salt and no phytohenaglutinin. What I'm going to do is put these into small containers with the bean cooking liquid. Then I'll have black beans to use for whatever I want. I can make refried beans with them, black bean quesadillas, make black bean soup, quinoa black bean salad. Oh, on and on. <laughs> Yay, black beans. Thank you for joining me while I cooked black beans. And see you next time.